Star Citizens, another video here. This one is on a more somber note. As always, like, subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment on a video from this month and you will be entered to win the contest. That's the good news. The bad news is the Mark I Hornet is being retired. Yeah, it's the first Star Citizen ship to be retired. Um, yeah, the Mark I's going bye-bye. So I, I said this in a previous video, but I needed to make another video because I finally got a chance to come and look at the page and I think this is worth a look. So let's go over. All right, so if you look here, uh, yeah, these things are going going away. Um, you know, the, the Mark I, the F7C Mark I, the F7A Mark I, all of these are going away. They'll become basically collector's items, I guess. Um, which I'm sure is gonna make a little, a few people a little bothered, right? Especially if like you had to do some extra stuff to get like an F7A or something like that. Um, yeah, it's probably uh, people are gonna be a little flustered. Um, but you know, I hope I hope that you know they, uh, I hope they they kind of push people forward. You know, I, I hope they give people like credit for this or something. I don't know. They, they, they technically don't have to because the ships will still be in the game. They'll still be flyable. You'll still be able to use them just as they promised. But I got I to gotta say that if you didn't see this coming, uh, you, you've got to pay more attention to Star Citizen because this is exactly what I thought was going to happen as soon as I, saw, I started seeing the Mark II. Um, and... The real, the main reason I wanted to make this, right, is first, so you could see that I think this is gonna be the last time, you know, this, when Invictus ends on the 29th, you can no longer buy the Mark I series. So I know a, there's a lot of people who like the Super Hornet, a lot of people who like the Ghost. Um, I, actually, there's people who like every single one of these. Um, I think the Ghost might be the most pop, no, the Super Hornet is the most popular, and then the second most popular is probably the Ghost. Um, but, the main reason I wanted to make this is because A, I wanted that to be um, known that after the 29th, you cannot buy these anymore. The second part is they still will be in the game. You just won't be able to buy them. Um, you, you won't be able to buy them in the, you won't be able to buy them in the game for a, a long time. So this is saying here, um, the Hornet Mark II series will remain flyable and fully supported, receiving bug fixes and its planned gold standard pass. It will also be eligible for new paints and cosmetics in the future. There will even be other means to attain the F7 Mark I in the future, though we're not quite ready to share those plans. So I think what it's gonna be is there's gonna probably be like some special missions or something you can do to get it in game. But for the most part, you're not gonna be able to purchase it with real money. Um, yeah, and the last part, and this is the most important part, all of the ships are getting, they are confirming it. As every pilot knows, the F7 series excels in range and combat scenario thanks to its role-specific variants. And the Aerospace can confirm that the Mark II editions of the formidable F7C M Super Hornet, F7C S Ghost, F7C R Tracker will be introduced in the not-too-distant future. So we are getting the Mark II of all of those. Now, my only issue is that I probably would have went Mark II FC, F7C as Ghost um, from, from my, uh, my F7C Mark II. So I'll, I'll probably see what that one's about um, because right now I think I'm going to stick with the Razor EX for my stealth ship, but I do want a stealth ship. And if the F7C as Ghost is what I think it will be, that's probably gonna end up being my stealth ship. So yeah, I'll probably end up getting getting one of those, but I gotta see what see what it's about first. Um, then another thing, they have these heritage paints. Um, I like the first one. I'm not a huge fan of these other two, but to each their own. Um, and then they have these. So I think this has, what does this have? All of the ships in it? Yeah. This has all of them in it, so if you just want to pick them all up. Um, my only problem with this is they don't have the, the um, they're missing the one, the, heart, the heart seeker. So I don't know if they were like, oh, the last time to get the heart seeker was 
you know, this past uh, Valentine's Day or what, but I feel like they should include the Heart Seeker in there. Um, let's see. I don't see, I don't think they have it in here. Nope, they don't have it in here. Um, but yeah, you're probably not gonna buy paint for a ship that's uh, not gonna be as useful anymore. Um, but it's really interesting to see that CIG can indeed retire ships. What does that say about older ships? What does that say about a lot of things in the game? There's some ships that are super old. Like, are they just gonna retire those? Or are they gonna, you know, let those ships stay and do other Mark IIs? But I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna keep doing Mark IIs. I think they're probably better off bringing some of the ships to, to, to you know, current standards. I think the Mark IIs are probably going to have to be the ships that were required to make Squadron 42. Those are probably, if those could not be updated because they were every, they were so quintessential to Squadron 42, those will probably get Mark IIs, but I think everything else will probably just get updated to new standards, so we'll see. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of conflicted about it because... I can imagine like one of these being your favorite ship and then you keep you having it for, I think you, you would have had this ship for 12 years and then all of a sudden it's gone. Uh, not gone as in you can't use it, but gone as in it's basically useless because there's gonna be better versions of it. But at the same time, I guess CIG never really promised us that all of our ships would maintain their current features. They did say the game is an alpha and uh, everything is subject to change. And I think this is where you learn that lesson uh, very in a very hard way uh, if you are a fan of these ships. Now, I've, I've never really been a fan of these ships. Um, and I, you know, I, I think I may have been a little harsh in my initial reviews of them, um, but I also, to be completely honest with you, was trying to steer people away because I didn't think that these ships should be owned by people. But I do like that they're telling you this, right? So if you have these ships right now, it's Invictus. This is the perfect time to choose what to upgrade these to. Go ahead and get yourself the next F7, right? Like you can go ahead and grab that right now from whatever one of these you have um, or melt it and turn it into something else. And so at least they, they did it um, while we were in a situation where you, you have all these options of what to upgrade it to. Um, as always, I say don't buy any ships until the 29th, the very final day, but just make sure you start early in the morning uh, so that you can get, you know, do all your research about the best war bonds and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, say goodbye to a legend. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.